everyone, Cheeky Tam here and welcome to another taste test. Today, thanks to my friend John, I'm going to be doing another American taste test. Planter's Salted Caramel Peanut Artificial Flavor. It actually does say that. That's selling it, isn't it? So here they are. Oh, they're quite sweet. I really love salted caramel flavour, but I don't think I'm really enjoying it in peanuts. I love it in popcorn and ice cream, but the peanuts, I think it's gone a little bit too far. It's got like a salty and sweet covering on it. I actually can taste that it's a, an artificial flavour. I love the peanuts themselves. Oh, I usually love planters nuts, but this one, I think the flavour's just missed the mark has deep dish flavored puffs and i have actually tried these before because they came in a munch pack i had i'll show you what they're like anyway and because i want to have another one so that yummy i really love her stuff they make big puffy cheese snacks they're ridiculously brightly colored but they are so moorish these actually do really remind me of pizza they've got a nice cheesy flavor through them a little subtle flavor as tomato as well and a little slight hint of herbs in there like oregano i think hers is one of my favorite snacks that i've tried from america really yummy Pringles Loud Salsa Fiesta and what makes these loud is the flavor. These are corn crisps and if you look at the cover there, I hope these flavors are in there because that looks tempting to me. Probably because we really don't have many good decent Mexican restaurants here in Australia either which is really disappointing. I think they've got this chain store called Gomez and something or other but I haven't tried it yet. I should try it. Gone off topic haven't I? <laughs> I can smell that they're spicy already. Have a look at them in there. Oh! They're spicy, crispy, and really tasty. Mm. Mm. <sighs> I love them! I love that they've got a really big, strong flavor of jalapeno in here, and a slight tomato taste as well. Full of so much flavor. You can taste a little bit of onion powder in there as well. These ones are one of the favorite Pringles I've tried, probably because they're really spicy as well. Absolutely delicious. Love them. Time for a beverage break, and today I have an original New York seltzer, vanilla cream soda. John's sitting there right now thinking, I didn't send you that. I know, I know, I found it in a store and I thought I'd just sneak it into this taste test. Oops, oops, oops. No, it's all right. See you later. Cheers. Oh. Okay. What's nice about it, it isn't a soda, so it's not really, really sweet. It's a more sort of subtle adult sort of drink, I suppose. It's a really subtle flavor in it. It's actually quite refreshing too. I don't usually have seltzer water. I don't know why, because I just drink straight water. I love the subtle flavor to it. It's nice and sparkly and refreshing. Love it. Jiffy Pops butter flavored popcorn. And I am looking forward to this so much. I remember seeing these in movies when I grew up and I thought, what is that mad thing that they're using? And here it is. Now I've got it and I'm living the dream. As much fun to make as it is to eat. Well, Will it be? Let's find out. What are the instructions? Do I have to take the lid off? Oh, fire it. I'm going to get this wrong, aren't I? I'm a little bit worried. I can see myself getting burned and getting this wrong. <laughs> right, so I'm guessing I take this bit of cardboard off. And I'm hoping there's going to be further instructions inside. Looks like it's got like a little perforation there. Does that mean that I've got to take that off far out? There's a tab there. Did you know that? I didn't. Oh, I see. I see. Oh, far out. <gasps> isn't easy. It's not that easy to take off. Oh. oh look there's instructions inside. Gas, that's me, gas oven. Reheat to three, four minutes. What do you mean? It's gas, it's instant. Then you place it on the burner. When there's a sizzling sound, fire out. I've got to move it really fast, back and forth. And then it fully expands. It's going to expand. I'm ready. I'm ready for this. I don't know what you want to see. Do you want to see the bird or do you want to see me? You can't see both. Do not remove this tab. Why do I see that and want to remove it? Nothing's happening. Oh, there's movement, there's movement. It's sizzling. Is this one I'm supposed to move it around? When's it going to do anything? Is it going to... Oh, did 
Did I hear movement? Whoa! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, so I'm a nervy person. I've just got to calm down right now. Okay, yep. Do it. Oh, it's starting to smell good. Yes. One side's getting bigger than the other. Is that normal? How long is this supposed to take? It doesn't tell you, does it? Oh, it's burning! Oh no, I burnt it. How's it, how have I managed to burn it? Now I don't know what to do. I've been waiting all my life to do this and I've screwed it up. Maybe there's something wrong with my one. Maybe that's what it is. Can't be me. How long do I want to burn it for? I'm so upset. Oh, oh! Hang on. Is that normal? I want it to be like this. Yes. Yes. Get there. Yeah, that's it. I think that's all I'm going to get out of it. it. Tells me I've got to open it with a fork not to burn myself. I'm ready for the horror that's in here, which is just going to be burnt corn, isn't it? Is that normal? <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, look, no, look, some of it's okay. A couple of things to note here. There's a definite burnt smell, which I'm pretty sure shouldn't happen. And half of it only cooked. So I, I don't know what I did wrong. I really don't, because it smelled like it was burning, yet half of it's not done. But what's with that? I'm gonna try the bits that did work out. These bits here. It doesn't taste burnt. The bits that did work out are actually really nice and buttery. And they're quite crispy. This was a lovely idea. Just a shame that I screwed it up. Have a look at all the unbit duns in there. Uh, unbit duns. <laughs> I really like the flavour of it. The bits that cooked are really yummy and tasty. I keep going back for war. I'm smelling the burntness. <laughs> Next up, I've got a perfect pot full of coffee. This is Coffee Masters Jamaican Me Crazy. Makes the perfect pot full of fresh roasted coffee every time. Well, we will see. So start with a clean 8 to 10 cup coffee maker. Coffee maker. Coffee maker. I've got my coffee maker and the good news is, well one, I'm going to put this on and two, I'm going to have two cups of coffee. Because John also sent me these coffee sachets. Someone's going to be hyper. I'm almost afraid for the world. Oopsie, did I break it? No, something's gonna have to get unplugged. Gonna unplug the world. Oopsie, hello? I don't really know what I'm doing. I guess you worked that out already. Oh, it smells really nice. I'm not making a whole pot. That would just be madness. I've just brought these things up. I've almost brought up my whole kitchen. By the time I'm finished, the whole kitchen will be in this room. So I'm gonna try this one as this one goes through. And I'll, right, Nescafe Classico. Gonna put this one in this cup that John gave me. I'm feeling so hyper right now. I don't even know why I'm having two cups of coffee. Cheers. I don't usually have instant coffee that often, so I'm actually quite enjoying it though. This one is dark roast, and I really like a really rich dark coffee. That's quite a no <laughs> It's quite a nice instant coffee. Someone's getting jealous. I better try the other one. Put some milk in. Time for some advertising, and these are my cups that I've designed. If you want to buy one of those, go to the website at Redbubble and order yourself one of those. They also have t-shirts and all kinds of stuff. See that? I drew it. I made that. I didn't make the cup itself. Oh yeah, it looks alright. Smells pretty good too. I must say straight up, it smells really delicious. It's got a sweet smell to it. It's got like a caramel in it or something, I think. Cheers. Mmm, nice. I must be a little bit of a plain girl because I think I'm actually enjoying the Nescafe better than this one because it has that little bit of a sweet taste to it. Like it's quite nice and smooth. It smells nicer than what it actually tastes. And I think that's kind of messing with my head a little bit. I actually like them both together. On to something that goes with coffee. Attention coffee lovers. That's me. These are from Krispy Kreme Donuts and they're coffee thins. Chocolate and coffee. Three individually wrapped edible coffee treats. Come on out. Oh, this says caramel macchiato. Do they all say that? Yes, they do. They're all the same flavor. Ooh. Oh, that looks good. Look at the pattern on it. Looks pretty classy. Oh, this is 
nice. It's got a lovely flavor of coffee through it and it has got a little bit of caramel in there as well. That's just sort of through the chocolate somehow. Really tasty, I love this. Cat sip, real milk, treats for cats and kittens. I've got to hunt down my cats for this one. Let's hope they're gonna participate, I never know. Unfortunately, it's not like dogs. Dogs will always participate, but cats? Ah, oh, fire out cats, eh? <laughs> See if I can tempt them. Hello, that was really quick. Hey Buffy, come on. John from America sent you this, don't be rude. Try it. Come on Buffy. Okay, this is going really well so far. I hope this is entertaining. It's kitty cat milk. All the way from America. Try it, try it. Oh yes, we have success. She loves it. It's actually a really hot day today, so I think she's really enjoying that. Yeah, okay, she likes that. Where's Hissy? No, we've got a no-show from Hissy. Hissy! Hissy! Hi, sweetie. Come on in. I've got some milk to try. Come on. Look, look. Look. Get it. No, oh, she just wants attention. This is always about attention rather than food. Come on. Oh yes, yeah, she loves it. Well done. I'm so happy that they both liked it and they both came to drink some. Thank you so much, John. Mwah. I really do appreciate you sending me all of these amazing treats. Lots of interesting things this time. And if everyone in the comments below could thank John, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Have a great week. Bye.